Hello guys and welcome to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how the latest build of Windows 10 Mobile runs on the budget Lumia device that is a Lumia 525 that we have over here. So if you still remember this device it runs on 1 GB of RAM, it has 1 GHz dual core processor and an Adreno 305 GPU. So without further delay let's head over into this device and see how it actually works. We are running on the latest build that is available to the Windows fast stream users. As you can see we are on build number 10166. Now before we start I want to answer a very important question as to whether you can use this on your device that you use daily. Well yes partly if it's a mid range to a low end device it's very stable everything works however there are some broken animations and some loading screens and sometimes some parts take a bit longer to load. So just let's get started and see where that happens. So we will show you a few of the basic stuff that you might need to use while you are using the phone every day, namely the phone application, the messaging application, opening up the lock screen and heading over into the settings to change stuff. So of course we'll begin with the lock screen and I'll swipe up to unlock. And as you can see there's a slight back screen before you head over into the start screen. The next thing that we will show is the phone application. Okay, so it loads up pretty fast but however if we kill the app over there like that and then again try to open the phone application as you can see there's a slight delay okay it's very slight but it's I hope it's gone in the next update while the app is loaded it's very smooth and as you can see you can just swipe between the tabs to get into your dial pad your speed dial or your history so the next thing that we will see is the messaging application so it crashed the first time here too you get a slight loading screen before heading over into the messaging application so this is your new messaging application and after it has already went into the application it's again pretty smooth so we'll just try to go to the settings as you can see it shows the settings that I was previously in it stutters and then goes back to the settings that I was trying to go into so that's a little bug and I hope it's fixed too in the next update so the next thing that we'll see is a new browser from Microsoft which is the Microsoft Edge which is supposed to replace the Internet Explorer which was present in Windows 8.1. So instead of a loading screen we have a splash screen over here and we head into the browser. As you can see we now have the loading screen over here and it will show you the introduction to Microsoft Edge place. It's pretty fast right now okay so we'll just head over to google.com. As you can see, you cannot see the loading bar right now, which is of course a bug and it will be fixed. It's still there, the new tabs page over here, you can click on options and open an in private tab. Of course, a new option is here is that the close all in private tabs, which is present in Android in under Google Chrome. So you have, of course, you have the reading mode over there, which is cannot be enabled in this web page because there's no articles. So it's pretty fast. The toolbar has been removed down to the bottom from the top after user feedback. So the next thing that we will be seeing is the Outlook Mail application which is the email application. It has the office branding as you can see over there. So that's the new inbox. Okay, so the Outlook app of course you can add new accounts over here. Okay. So and we'll just head over into a new mail. It takes some time which shouldn't be the case. Okay, if you hit these three options, as you can see, you will have a lot of formatting options which was not present there before. So you can insert images, you can have various formatting options like bold, highlight and change the font colors, etc. So there's also an option to quickly switch between the calendar and the Outlook application. So this is the new calendar app in Windows 10 Mobile. It still has the office branding, but as you can see it's quite smooth in loading up between these two apps I'll again try and head over into the Outlook app and as you can see it's again very smooth while switching between these two apps okay, so that took some time so the worst thing about this new calendar app is that there's only two views as you can see as you, there is a day view and of course there is the agenda view you cannot go into the full year view but and the week view however you can just click that and to see the whole month so the next thing that we'll see is a new app drawer and like always you can swipe to the left to access the new app drawer and in this new app drawer the only change that is present is that 
the, all the icons and the names has been shifted over to the left. You also see a specific list of the recent applications that's installed, which can be closed. And I've already closed that, so it's not visible over in my device. So I'll just head over and also you can use that search bar for searching your apps. So if you scroll down to the S, you can see that the old store app is gone and the new store app has dropped the beta tag. However, it still takes a hell lot of time to open up and it has two splash screens, which I'm not sure why. As you can see, it's still on the splash screen and it's taking up a lot of time to open up. I don't know why they dropped the beta tag, they shouldn't have. Okay, there might be some problem, we'll just head over into the home screen again and again try to open up the app. So we are on a black screen right now. Okay, so that was opening up. Okay, so now we are in the home and it's still loading up the list of contents. So there we are. Okay, we have the picks for us specific to our choices. We have a list of top apps over there. Okay, if we go down, we have the list of top free apps and there are the best rated apps and new rising apps. And if you scroll down to the absolute bottom, you can see the collections, the different collections. So there are many things that kind of doesn't work over here. As you can see, if we head over to the apps, it does take up some time to load up the contents. So to sum it up, it still kind of feels like a beta software. There's a lot of loading screens, a lot of time to open up stuff. So the next thing that we'll see is the new photos application. Okay, it's a universal app, so it's present also on the desktop and also in the phone. So that's list up all these pictures that you have on your device. Okay, you can head over to this hamburger button and you can head over to albums. Which will show you the list of albums that you have in your device. So it's pretty much very smooth and it works fine. So the last thing that we'll see is the settings menu. Okay, so we have a redesign settings menu, but as you have seen, we also have a slight loading screen over here before loading up the settings app. So this is again a universal app, so this will match with the control panel on your Windows desktop. So there are various options now categorized into different parts like system, devices, network and wireless, personalization, etc. Of course, there's the search button, which is very helpful after this reorganization since you do not since many of us don't know as to which settings lies under which category. Like if I want to search for speech, I can just type that and directly head over into the speech settings, which is quite useful. So that's all from this video and if this video did convince you to get the Windows 10 mobile on your mid to low end device, please tell us in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to us yet, please do subscribe and if you like this video, please hit the like button below. and. If you are still not a Windows Insider and don't know how to become a Windows Insider and get this preview update, follow the link in the description below which will tell you as to how you can become an Insider. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.